women love going to the salon, right? Why can't guys enjoy going to the barbershop? And so after a few drinks one night, uh, I finally got the courage to tell my two best friends that I wanted to open up a barbershop and call it Scissors and Scotch. Scissors and Scotch is just like it sounds. We're a uh, high-end men's barbershop, cocktail lounge on one side, barbershop on the other. Right now, just flew into Dallas. Uh, I'm here to help get the shop open. They're giving us the space to do day one training in with the staff. Okay. All eight, of this? All of this, so this is all us. Uh, this will be our eighth shop, it's a franchise shop, and over the next 14 to 16 months, we're gonna be opening 20 more barbershop locations across the country. So we got drywall to be finished, we gotta laminate yet, we gotta put our granite tops in. It's good we didn't decide to announce the grand opening yet. We have uh, construction delays and what we're trying to do, we're adaptable. <clears throat> how, long doing, do, how, how long do the floors take? Not doing much training no, Tuesday. No, no. <laughs> Don't even have stations How long here. do the floors take? Day, two, two days. days. I mean, probably two days. At the end of the day, uh, you know, this is going to happen when we're opening 20 locations. We'll have more construction delays, right? But that's not my biggest fear when doing this. It's trusting that these franchisees grasp what we're going for. They obviously are painting and stuff today, but they got the wood wall up, covered Doesn't up. Does that look good? It looks pretty good. I have an idea, though. I'm not sure with this building if it looks good enough. And so I'm kind of thinking, stay with me now. We might want to do like a mural maybe of Dallas, bring somebody, a local artist in. Okay. Walk me through why you got there. Neither myself or my two co-founders have ever built a franchise business. And so we really have to start learning and adapting how to work with franchisees. I'm not sure the first, you know, this is the feature wall. When people walk in, that's the first thing they see. Right. You don't want to get the stainless steel up there. It's really going to make a statement and bring the space together. I think, so a, mural, my, I think my, a mural would look pretty cheesy. Pretty cheesy, okay. It's making sure that every location has that feeling that we want and we can execute that across 20 locations. That's my fear. This ties the whole room together. This yeah. is the atmosphere. This is the look and feel with the wood and the leather and ties into the wood cloud. When you walk into a scissors and scotch, you have to know it's a scissors. So are you doing, you're doing a wall like this exactly in every location? Yeah, every location is gonna have that wood wall with the okay. logo on it when That's you fine. walk in. I'm not too tied to it, I guess. Yeah. I mean, but I think we can do creative ideas like that, but let's take it inside the bar. I'm so okay we're not that. ripping down this. Okay. By the way, this happened yesterday. Tanner thought it would be a good idea to potentially rip down this wood wall. Instead of having our stainless steel the logo, feature the wall? feature wall, wanted to take it down and have a local artist come in and do a Dallas mural. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, it's frustrating. I mean, that's one of the- But that's, I mean, that, that's also on us. I mean, we got to get them to understand the why, yep. why we don't change stuff. I mean, exactly. that consistency, that's brain consistency. That's. I mean, how do you train something and teach something that's so intangible? It's, it's culture, it's, it's a feeling, you know, we live it every day, but how do you make sure stylist in Nashville understands what we're going for? We have three strongly established core values, uh, make someone's day, build lasting relationships, and celebrate your weird. Everybody, everybody, <laughs> we have somebody who's very, you know, celebrating her weird every day. But every day. As, a, as a company, we live by these. You know, I'm excited to say that Ali Webb has agreed to be my mentor. If anyone has the answers to, you know, my question marks and fears about opening locations across the country and scaling a concept that's so culture-based, it's Ali because she's done it. Dry Bar is a national, national brand. People know Dry Bar. And 130 plus locations, they do blowouts for women, and that's it. They sell an experience and a feeling. So Ali's flying in from LA tomorrow uh, to Dallas and it's gonna be the first time I meet her in person. Having the opportunity to pick her brain is such a great feeling for me. And I would urge you before you open up any more stores that you really have that piece very clearly defined. Exactly. And, and honestly, like, you're four years in, it should have been done years ago. I sure. Mean, not to be a jerk, but like these are things that you establish like very early on yeah. before things start getting a little out of hand, you yeah. know?